Go to 165 pounds. Lights come back on and we're underway. Fourth ranked Alex Marinelli, this sophomore who's 5 and 0, coming up against Trey Cornish, who's a sophomore 0 and 5 right now, still trying to find that first win. And going up against uh, a couple of sophomores here. Mar Marinelli trying to get back to those bonus points way. The Hawkeyes had four straight matches with bonus points. Uh, Caleb Young had the decision. No bonus points attached to Iowa leading the team score category 20 to 0 right now. Marinelli has that capability of getting those bonus points. Especially that last week duel against Iowa State. He did a fantastic job of pushing the pace, really getting after it, getting the fall, which uh, was huge then for the victory against Iowa State by Iowa only winning one point. So Marinelli, yeah, just super tough wrestler. Gonna come out hard. Next game is the bowl. He's gonna he's gonna be like a bull in your face. Great double leg battle to Marinelli. Towards the edge of the mat, he does get the takedown. 2-0. A lot of Alex Marinelli's bread and butter is those post high crashes, those post doubles. Trey Cornish talking with the official. They're gonna start with blood time over there. Marinelli has some blood. Two man officiating crew, Jason Wedgbury as well as Rick Stahl. First time we've had to stop a match here. Well, I tell you what, of. great job by the Iowa trainers, Jesse Donworth and Lauren Werner. They tend to Marinelli here in front of a good crowd, probably 6,000 plus inside Carver Hawkeye Arena tonight. And fairly good crowds for a lot of those marquee matches going to be on the road or just not going to happen this year. No Penn State, no Penn State Iowa match. Minnesota's going to be on the road as well as Oklahoma State's going to be on the road. There's a lot of uh, a lot of those marquee matches you're going to have to be watching from your living room or going to have to make the trip. So just a minute 50 to go in this first. Escape by Cornish. Marinelli, just a tough wrestler. Again, pace, he's going to really push the pace this first period, and you'll see the points start coming in the first period and second and third. He's not afraid to wrestle hard and dominate. Shot 15 to go in the first. Shot by Cornish, not able to finish. Looking towards the edge of the mat. We got a stall call against Lehigh there. Edge of the mat. As you mentioned, Lehigh has been wrestling a lot on the edge of the mat this match. Great shot by Alex Marinelli. That power double again. Just coming out of the gates right away. Marinelli again, a tensional release. Look for another one of those takedowns. Wants to keep building that lead, scoring those points. There is the es escape. Now it's a 4-2 match. Great work there by Alex Marinelli. Getting that shot on the edge of the mat, keeping his toes in. Cornish thought he was good there off the mat. A lot of points scored by Iowa towards the edge of the mat that time. Slotting his way into 1-6-2. Iowa leading Lehigh here in the first. At 165 pounds, we started the night at 125. Marinelli from... Ohio, wrestled St. Paris Graham, one of the best high schools in the country. Doing a great job in this first period. He gets that minute of riding time. He can end that first period on top. Really good job of pushing the pace. Working hard for his takedowns. And his pace is gonna keep, keep strong the rest of these next two periods. Red defers is going to be Green's choice, and choosing to go down is Marinelli. He leads it 6-2 right now, plus the 
minute of riding time. Sent back to the mat, that time by Trey Cornish. One at Siepa Marinelli. Again, Lehigh on the edge of the mat. Marinelli's already had a couple of falls here inside Carver this season. Three falls. It was last year where he had five in total. Already three here early on, and we're not even to the Christmas break. There's that double again by Marinelli. I think he's going to be looking. Aye. That's the signature move, isn't it? It is. Marinelli very good there. And he's going to be looking for that fall as this match goes on with his pressure, with his pace. Again, looking for that tensional release. Oh, wow. Flips him all the way through with that great arm strength up top and out of bounds. They'll go back over to the center. 10-2 advantage for Marinelli. Marinelli with the major right now. Doesn't look like he's going to slow down. Give me looking for that tech fall and looking for the pin in the midst of that. Again, deep on a double leg, and he finishes it through. Again, Marinelli just really looking for those points with that pace. Already one stall warning against Cornish as they go out. And escape. Let's take another look at that. Just swept the leg right on through. No points there, but just Marinelli pushing the pace. Here's another takedown now. So Marinelli up by the score of 12-4. 16-4, sorry, after that takedown. And then with the escape now, the 14-4 is they get it fixed up by the scoreboard. 14-5 is the score, 14-5. Easy takedown there by Marinelli. Breaks two minutes of riding time. Going to look to end the period on top. Another stall call against Cornish. One point Marinelli. So he's up by 13 right now. Is Marinelli. Corner's decision, chooses neutral. Marinelli Boldis does a great job of coming out hard, working hard for his points, and that really pays off for him in the second and third periods where his points start coming really easy for him now. Marinelli's gonna look for his signature move here. And now he turns to his back. Marinelli trying to get the first fall of the meet. That they definitely looked through. like that should have been too near fall. Slow on the ref's part there. So he has went ahead and locked in one for riding time. So he's technically up by 15, but just 14 on the scoreboard. Marinelli wants this pin. He's got a minute 13 to do it. He's working. He's taking his time here. Cornish does not want to give it up. Then it like flips him over again. No points. Rolls run him through. Forty-four seconds left here. Totally beat is Trey Cornish. He is tired in that down position. And there's another stall warning coming against him. And that is going to go ahead and get that tech fall. I think Marinelli's a little frustrated there getting the tech fall with the stall fall. I think he wanted to try to get that, that fall. But really good job by Alex Marinelli. Pushed the pace. All the fans are happy. Happy with that performance. 